Within Job Tracker, the Materials Detail Sheet displays the materials required to manufacture the part for the current job. You cannot edit the values on this sheet, it only displays for your information. Expand the node on the job tree view to locate the material you want to review. When you select the material, the Job Details Materials Detail Sheet displays. The Part and Description fields define the specific part used for this material. The Miscellaneous Charge fields indicate if this material required an additional cost. Beneath that, in the Related Operations section, the Operation field displays the operation that uses the material. The fields in the Quantity Group box indicate how material quantities are used on the operation. The Quantity Parent field specifies how much of the material part is required to produce a base unit of the parent assembly. The Required Quantity displays the total estimated material quantity. The Unit Cost field displays the estimated cost per unit of the material. The Scrap field estimates how much of this material turns into scrap during the operation. Depending on the selected radio button option, this value can either be a quantity or a percentage of the original material quantity. The fields in the Unit Cost Breakdown group box determine estimated costs of material, labor, burden, and subcontract work. The Material Burden fields define the estimated rates for landed costs, like freight and import duties, placed against this material quantity. If this job is part of a larger project, the selected Analysis code segregates this job's costs within Project Analysis. The Make Direct checkbox indicates that this material will be manufactured. The site responsible for manufacturing the part for this job material then displays. However, if this material is pulled from inventory, the warehouse displays where this material will be issued. If this material is included in a planning contract, its link to contract checkbox is selected. A specific contract number shows in the accompanying field. The Purchase Direct checkbox indicates that this material is purchased. The rest of the fields in this group box then show information about the purchase. They indicate if the purchased materials must be inspected, how much lead time is required to receive the material, the supplier sending the material, and other details. The Materials Detail Sheet displays the main information about the material. Review the Material Salvage, Material RFQ, and Material Links Sheets for more details about the current material.